Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you may be in the world. Here in Sydney, Australia, it's 1am on Saturday morning and I couldn't sleep. And I'd just seen something on a website that I was curious about. And so I thought, I'll make a video. I can't sleep, so why not? Before I tell you about what I saw on the website, I have to apologise. At the end of Friday's video, sort of yesterday's, but not quite sort of the, the day before here. Anyway, anyway, Friday's video, you know what I mean. I totally got what was coming up next week wrong because I forgot about the vlog sale on Monday. I don't know how it slipped my mind. I was just hot, bothered, menopausal, brain fade, seniors moment, whatever you want to call it. It was, you know, anyway, I apologize for that. What is actually happening, of course, is on Monday, I'm recording the vlog sale. On Wednesday, I'm doing the t-shirt haul, and also I'm going to try on the shorts from Rag and Bone. You know, the shorts that look like denim, but aren't denim. And hopefully the Fendi bag, the third time lucky Fendi bag, will be here by Friday, and I'll be able to unbox that for you. The rest of my handbag collection, which will need a fair bit of organisation, I will be doing the week after on the Monday and the Wednesday. I'll just check to make sure I've got all that right. I've got it written down here. Yep. 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 You can take that as read. It's correct. So, I was looking at the coach website earlier today. So, sorry about me looking at my notes, but you know, there's, there's a lot of information. And saw the Coach Cargo Tote 26. And I thought, that's strange, that looks like the Marc Jacobs tote. And I, I mean, they are so similar. You know, I haven't, I just have one of the small tote bags in denim. Denim and crystals, fabulous bag. It's very, very blingy. Hopefully you can see the bling. Gorgeous bag, love it to pieces. Thank you, Dee Dee Bean, for making me buy this bag, but I don't mind at all. Talking of Dee Dee Bean, do go and have a look at her channel. I'll put her channel name down under in the description box. She's still a little bit short of becoming monetized, and if you can help her, if you can subscribe to a lovely lady who is just very kind-hearted and fabulous, please do so, it would be great. So, so I was looking at this coach cargo tote and I thought, hmm, that's interesting. You'll see a photo of it just there. And I think you'll see what I mean. They're very, very similar. Now, you know, Coach or Marc Jacobs are not the first people in the world to make very similar handbags. I mean, it goes on everywhere. It's just that I came across this and was curious. So, now both of these come in different sizes, the Marc Jacobs one and the Coach one, but I'm just comparing the small Marc Jacobs tote which is exactly, well, almost exactly the same size as the Coach Cargo Tote 26. Now, I know Coach is a huge favourite brand in America, and so don't, you know, look, I, I like Coach bags. I mean, I have one, I have one here, I think it's the Lana bag. And the craftsmanship on this is exceptional. It is a beautifully made bag. I love it to pieces. And that's also one of the things that Coach says. It says Coach was founded in 1941 and it proudly embraces craftsmanship, which I see in this leather bag. I really do. It, it is, I can't fault it anywhere. 
There is nothing wrong with it at all. It is perfect. But looking at the photos of this Cargo Tote 26, that is what it's called, isn't it? Yeah, Cargo Tote 26. The stitching, quite frankly, was just all over the place. It, it should be seeing some close-ups over here at the moment. And I think you'll see what I mean. Now, I know it's not the easiest thing in the world to sew through thick fabric, but when you've got industrial sewing machines, you know, if, if something like that gets to quality control, it's like a, sorry, that's not good enough. And whether they mark it down as seconds or it goes to the outlet or a reduced price, I don't know how it works, but it shouldn't be sold at full price like that. Now, talking of prices, where are we? Okay, now the Coach Cargo Tote 26 in Australia retails 350 Australian dollars. The Canvas Small Mark Jacobs Tote in Australia costs 340 dollars, so they're very similar in price. And the Mark Jacobs Tote dimensions are 10 inches by 5 inches by 8 inches or 26 centimetres by 13 centimetres by 21 centimetres. The Coach Cargo Tote 26 had only got the measurements in centimetres and it was 26 centimetres, which is the same as Mark Jacobs, 19.5 centimetres high, so it's a little bit higher than the Mark Jacobs Tote. And 13 centimetres deep or wide, which is the same. In other words, 13 centimetres across that away. And they're very, very similar, aren't they? And I thought, I wonder which one came first. So I looked at the Mark Jacobs tote and that was first introduced in 2019. Now, trying to find out when the coach tote was introduced proved to be somewhat difficult. Couldn't find the information researching it on Google. The earliest mention of the coach tote that I can find is a YouTube video from December 2023 by a content creator who claimed to be a coach retail employee who said that the tote is described as a newer style to the brand. So from that I deduce that it came out around the end of 2023 or slight, very slightly earlier, but that is the earliest video on YouTube. And, and I thought, you know, if you're going to sort of do something in the style of somebody else's bag, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm saying that to be as nice about the situation as possible. You could at least make it well, you know? I mean, I've heard a few people lately complain about coach quality. And coach has always been that American brand that makes really good bags for a really good price. And yet even there, you know, the quality seems to be going downhill. I mean, I, I don't know, what, what is it? I mean, have, have companies tried to cut their costs and, you know, totally cut out quality control altogether? I, I know of some companies that have actually done that. They've actually laid off the entire quality control department. So it comes off the shop floor, it's straight into the packing and that's it. You know, if it's faulty, nobody knows until it gets sent to the customer and then the customer sees it's faulty. Then you've got to send it back, blah, 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 etc., etc. And it's a pain in the proverbial. And I'm, I was just a bit, you know, a bit upset to see that such a you know, it's one of America's heritage brands, isn't it, really? 
just to see a bag that was so sloppily made and I mean really sloppily made I mean it's not it wasn't just a bit of stitching I mean you you, you can see here you know I've, I've sort of circled in red where the stitching isn't isn't in a straight line you know and there's, there's just there's no excuse for it at all and, and I do know what I'm talking about. I mean, I've made costumes in theatre for over 30 years. I've designed them, cut them, made them, you know, and some of those have been really difficult to make. And I know how difficult it is to sew a straight line sometimes, but you just have to do it, you know? And I thought, wow, even coach, you know? which worries me a bit because I might have ordered something from them as well. I mean, after having such a restrained month, shall we say, in August, and if you haven't seen my last video about my monthly spend in August, it will be up here, do have a look because I actually did rather well. However, we're just about at the end of the first week in September and I have totally gone off the rails. I mean, what can I say? You know, I thought I would try and do another low by month, but do you know, is the Fendi back that's done it? I finally found the one that was right. And of course it had to be a lot more expensive than the others were that didn't work out and had to be sent back. However, I'm waffling. It's early in the morning and I was just curious about this tote situation. You know that we have the coach tote and the Marc Jacobs tote and they're, they're really quite similar apart from the coach tote has an external pocket on the front that I think goes about three quarters of the way up the bag and has a little sort of, you know, their little turn lock, you know, sort of fastener there which Mark Jacobs admittedly does not have. But apart from that, in all respects, they are very similar. And, well, looking at this Mark Jacobs tote in detail, I can see that every line is straight. The sewing is perfectly straight, even when there's a really, when the fabric is really thick at the corners here, you've got like four thicknesses of material to sew through and it's not easy. No, that is, right, I can't see a stitch out of place, literally, not a single stitch. And I am picky and, and also I have OCD, which you'll know if you're a regular viewer of this channel. And if you've become or are becoming a regular viewer of this channel, which is great, I'm so pleased if you are, and you haven't subscribed, please do. You know you want to. Really, please help support my channel. You know, it, it would mean the world to me. I would appreciate it so much. And if you like this fairly short video that's quite random at one o'clock in the morning, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to leave a comment down under, I always enjoy reading your comments and I will reply to them. And I think that's about all there is to say, except if I wanted to buy a small tote, quite frankly, I would go for the Marc Jacobs one because the coach one really disappoints me and I hate to say that. And Please, if you're an American, don't, you know, don't take any offence. I'm sure, you know, there are loads of coach bags that are fabulous and really well made. It was just this particular one that really, really stood out. And I thought, why, why would you photograph a faulty bag? Surely the person who was photographing it should have seen it. Anyway, I could carry on ad nauseum as I usually do, witter away. But thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. A bientôt mes amis, au revoir et 
Bonsoir.